Hi guys, I'm Shmi and I'm in Germany visiting Abt. Today I'm taking a look at the Audi TTS. I visited earlier in the year and took a test drive in the Audi TT, my first in the new shape TT, a car that Abt had taken from 230 PS up to 310. Now 310 is the stock figure for the TTS, but in this car they've taken it up 60 horsepower to 370 PS. As well as that, it also goes from 380 Newton meters to 460. So as well as the 60 horsepower, we've also got 80 Newton meters more torque. There are also some aerodynamic changes, so I'm going to show you around the car, talk about the modifications ABT have made to the TTS, then we'll jump in, go for a quick test drive and show it in a little bit more detail. So looking around now, the first thing around the front is the new skirt add-ons to the lower front corners that just give it a more aggressive, more enhanced look with this sort of design aerodynamic shape that is around the inlets on either side of the car, as well as the extended front sort of spoiler piece, the lip spoiler down at the bottom here with the ABT logo in the centre, sitting underneath this sort of new TT style grille from Audi with the much more angular shape to it and design. More aggressive all around really. As we come round to the side, you've got the new ABT wheels, 20 inch wheels front and rear. And they're sitting with lowering suspension springs, of course, spacers for a more dynamic drive and um, just all round new, more aggressive look. There are the new mirror caps, so as you can see, with this sort of specific design from the abt caps with the logo placed on the edge there. And as we come round to the rear, the most prominent feature is the boot lid spoiler, the fixed wing, if you will, that's shaped around the rear of the car. And down below, you have a new sort of skirt insert to the sort of diffuser area, um, again with the abt logo in the centre. And at the sides, you've got four of these exhaust tips, 102 millimeter, black chrome, um, new exhaust system, of course, new muffler set up for this car. So we will hear it shortly. Abt do interior modifications too, although this car has the stock Audi system. Unlock it by touching on the back of the handle. It's a very nice interior on the TT. I'll show you this a little bit while we're driving in the sort of computer com command center um, on the driver's side. Um, but Audi interiors are getting pretty good as well. Got the uh, quilted stitching, but Abs can take that a bit further and sort of do some extended Alcantara and all sorts of new components um, that a number of people I'm sure would like on their TTS. So when I drove the TT, I was quite impressed. I really enjoyed my drive in it. Um, it was a brilliant experience because it's obviously quite a small, nimble, light car um, set up to be quite fun to drive. You've got the double clutch gearbox, the Audi S-Tronic. So I'm expecting that the TTS with a little bit more power is going to be even more so. So first up, let's start the car up and hear how it sounds and then we'll jump in and go for a test drive. Entry is via the new Audi key. I do like the design of this with the TTS logo on the back. Nice little piece. Pop that in your pocket. And then you can just touch on the back of the handle, hear the car unlock, pull it open and jump in. And this is where you're greeted by this fantastic digital display in front of us. And I love this thing. We've obviously seen it in the uh, new sort of top end models, the R8, um, the Lamborghini Huracan and so on from the VW Group cars. Um, but it is fantastic, right? Uh, foot on the brake, start button here. Roars into life and you have all sorts of controls you can go through on this and I'll show you that in a little bit more detail in a moment. Let me just turn the air vent, air conditioning down slightly. Air conditioning, by the way, really nice. Control through these little dials in the center, which are very neat. And there are five vents across. Um, but on a basic level, you can adjust all sorts of different things. Go through different settings, menus, radio, navigation. Um, oh, I'm still turning on, I suppose. And then that will come up full screen in the center. When it loads the map, there we go, off-road. I'm somewhere I'm not supposed to be. Um, but that is a fantastic view. And then if you press the view button again, it goes back to the larger rev counter and speedometer. Um, but enough of that. Let's go for a drive. Here 
here we go then, the 370 horsepower ABD TTS. And I've often been a believer that around 400 horsepower is sort of the level where you can actually go out and have fun in a car. And especially on roads like this, really tight, twisty, nimble kind of roads. And you won't find yourself getting in trouble. You can use the gears, use the power, hit the red line if you want, and you're not gonna end up in speeds that are seriously, seriously questioning whether you can keep your license or not. So I'm initially excited to sort of be out and about in a car with exactly that kind of number. Obviously it depends a lot on weight, but this, in theory, everything on paper points to being a really quite fun drive. Now I'm kicking off with it completely in drive. Oh, stop start of course. Uh, all about the efficiency and economy these days. So kicking it off with it fully in drive and it kicks the engine back into life as you lift off the brake there. So normal modes, comfortable, gearbox doing its thing completely comfortably as you'd expect. The s gearbox is brilliant in every car from the VW group. Um, we've got a lovely, lovely set out in here. The interior is wonderful. I've showed it already, but I really, really do appreciate it. So in drive, we're comfortable. The seats are good. The steering position is good. Uh, the pedals are right in front of you. Everything sort of ticks all the boxes you'd want for sort of comfortable daily driver. Um, kick down, of course, a little bit slow in drive, but we'll get to the uh, sport mode in a second. Um, ultimately does kick down, gets on the move. So if I go to sport, it immediately drops the gear, of course, but it also opens up the valves a little bit more. So we're gonna get a little bit more of the soundtrack from this exhaust. And it already sounded good on upshift or downshift with the uh, system before, and immediately I can tell it's downshifting earlier than perhaps it would have done beforehand. But if I override this slightly with the panel to go into manual mode, just to really be able to enjoy it. Doesn't sound bad at all. And you'll notice that as soon as you hit the red line, it actually upshifts for you. So you get that perfect sort of red line shift um, without missing anything, uh, which takes away a little bit, but that's, I mean, you can short shift if you want, if you want to feel pressing the, pressing the paddle, but defeats the point of getting the fastest possible shift, really. So on these twisty roads, the steering is exactly what you'd want it to be. Very direct, very engaging, very fun. The whole sort of feel of the car is indeed one that you can go out and drive and have some fun with. Um, I've got lots of traffic in front of me, unfortunately, so I can't push on too much at the moment. Uh, what else is there to talk about? I suppose ride, this is quite a big thing. The ride is very firm. Now, we're on some particularly nice roads here. Um, Germany has a lot of very comfortable, smooth tarmac roads, and I feel it's quite on the firm side, and I'm sure that's partly down to having 20-inch wheels, and the same wheel design is actually available also in 19s and 18s. Um, which I'm pretty sure if you lived in the UK, unless you were all about making the car look good, you would want those smaller wheels on the car. Also the lowering suspension springs. Yeah, a little bit of acceleration. But it's not, I mean, it's not too bad. It's just, it's just firm. That's all I'm, all I'm trying to get at. But also, equally, that goes with the character of the car. You know, if you're going to have a sporty car to drive, that's part and parcel of the sort of whole package and everything that it's going to be about. Um, so it's not necessarily a bad thing, just a point. Uh, then you put your foot down, <laughs> you get some more of that, and you have a lot of fun in the process. The gearbox that this car has is brilliant. No two ways about it. It's an amazing piece of kit. Um, it's insanely fast shifts. It's, it's overall a very nice driving experience, and this is what I found with the uh, TT before. Let's try and get a feel for the power of this car then. You can certainly feel a lot of the torque. It pulls away very, very quickly. And that's, I guess, also part of the fun of it. It's very, like, go, 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 go. If you want it to be, then you pop it in drive and then it's back into chill mode. And I think it, that's the sort of category, you know, we're talking sports car or sort of everyday drivable sports car. Um, the, with the Abt package just makes it a little bit more exciting. And I'm sure Audi will come along with the TTRS at some point based on the new shaped car. And then equally, we'll have the Abt TTRS, which will be an absolute weapon. That will be an incredibly fun car. Uh, but again, maybe it'll be a little bit too fast. You know, we're out of that range of being able to sort of push the car on and just sort of fully enjoy it. And I'm gonna try and find myself a desperately twisty road again, because that's where this thing comes properly into its element. And you get to enjoy everything got a lot to give in here, a lot to give. 
If I push the gear stick right, we go into manual mode, then we're fully on the paddles and the car won't change gear for me at all. Now this is exactly what I was looking for. Very tight, very twisty. This is where the car comes into its own. Smooth tarmac, very small road, and an opportunity to really push on and have some fun. Before I completely switch off, let's put it into park and the engine will turn itself off. Let's have a play with the system in front of us, the entertainment system and all of this, because this is really quite clever. You have two main views, I showed you that before, the larger view and then the sort of split view where you can bring up more information on the screen. Then you have the control that you can go through and see your media stuff, your telephone stuff, your navigation, that brings up this huge map where you can see everything, which is quite a cool view to be driving with or go back to your sort of car and vehicle information where you've then got a few screens to look at um, your recent sort of trips um, your parking assistant stuff and then the, uh, the current um, speed limit and the parking assistant screen is actually quite cool if I put my foot on the brake and go into reverse the engine will kick back into life and then you get this nice little plan that shows you your, uh, how you're moving and what's around you with that sort of graphical display which is quite cool pop it back into park engine will stay running. Press OK just to remove that message for the moment. Um, but this view is sort of really good for just seeing and going through everything. And you've got this sort of first setting that you can go through and um, get to everything else if you want to. Um, and all the uh, other stuff that the car has to offer. Um, all sort of fairly self-explanatory. So we don't have any um, navigation screen, so to speak, in the middle of the car for the passenger. It's all controlled through this display that the driver looks at front of them which works very very nicely and presumably if I press a few it will do that and if you start moving again the left screen will change away from the uh, parking setup and turn into showing you your uh, rev counter again at the left so that is all very very clean and nice and tidy in here and I really quite enjoy driving it we've also got an electronic handbrake button to turn off auto start stop and a control here equally to go through the entertainment system if you wanted to use that. Um, you've also actually got some other displays, I hadn't seen this as well, um, so you can bring up a series of other bits and bobs as well, um, which presumably overlays on top of the map if you bring that up. Yeah, so tons of stuff to play in, with in there, which is brilliant. Right, let's turn it off. Well, I don't need to turn it off, it's turned itself off. As soon as I open the door, the car will switch off. Another good drive then, just like the Abt TT when I tested that earlier this year. It's a lot of fun this time though, with a little bit more power behind you as you go about it and just the right amount of power where you can get through the gears, put your foot down and not find yourself in trouble. And the car looks pretty cool as well with the Abt package. The TTS starts sort of from this new baby R8 kind of style uh, design to it with the more aggressive grill and the lights and the whole sort of look and shape to it. And then when you put on the aerodynamic parts with the Abt package at the front, um, and the spoiler at the rear, you enhance that a little bit further as well. So it's a very nice package and a good fun car to drive out and about and especially on the sort of roads out here in the scenery you can see around me and the tight twisty roads. So enjoy driving that one. It's bang on where you want to be for a sort of daily fun sports car. Awesome. Anyway, yes, so thank you very much to Abt for hosting me for the day, allowing me to drive this car. And of course, thank you very much for watching it and staying tuned. But that's it for right now, taking a look at that. Hopefully I'll be back here again in the not too distant future to check out some other cars. But thank you very much and I'll catch you soon. Cheers. <laughs>